All right, so it's going to be really hard to monitor this. Testing. 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 Testing! Ooh, that's sweet. <laughs> Testing! Testing! Maybe I should just bring it closer to me. <laughs> Testing! Testing! Okay, well, we'll see how well this does. So, um... A few days ago... <laughs> yeah, so a few days ago, Ubisoft announced the uh, remake for Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time. And it's been met with rather mixed reception. Uh, personally, I just want Prince of Persia to come back, so... Like, it doesn't look great, but... I did. I want. I just want more Prince of Persia, so I'm not too angry about it. <sighs> anyway, uh, I decided that now's as good a time as <laughs> any to uh, replay the original. So, uh, yeah. And, uh, that's what I've got here. I have my soft modded original Xbox. Ideally, I'd boost my volume, but I mean, I think I can. This is not the microphone I wanted to use for this. <laughs> okay. Let's start here. Most people think time is like a river that flows swift and sure in one direction, 
but I have seen the face of time, and I can tell you, they are wrong. Time is an ocean in a storm. You may wonder who I am and why I say this. Sit down, and I will tell you a tale like none that you have ever heard. Know first that I am the son of Sharama, a mighty king of Persia. On our way to Azad with a small company of men, we passed through India, where the promise of honor and glory tempted my father into a grievous error. No, my son. I think I felt regret as I gazed upon the destruction we had wrought, or at least humility at the speed with which a world can be transformed from a good world into a hell. If you think so, you are mistaken. For in that moment, I thought of one thing only: the honor and glory I would bring my father by fighting like a warrior in that first battle. Yeah. So, uh, as you've probably been able to tell already. The audio leveling in this game is pretty atrocious. <laughs> and it kind of only gets worse as the series went on. <laughs> um, oh, it's right trigger. Welcome to Prince of Persia, everyone. No, no, that's not what happened. I jumped over the broken bridge. I took a running jump and... Uh, yep, this is also something that never got better. Hopefully, hopefully they'll have managed to iron out some of the input weirdness with the remaster. Can I run across here? Good. That cloth physics, I love it. <laughs> I absolutely love cloth physics. If they cheap out and don't have cloth physics, then I'm going to be angry. <laughs> Just, just like the the original Prince of Persia, the many and... men that day sought to win honor and glory on the battlefield, that their king might say to them, as Khosrow said to Rustam, "You are the noblest of my warriors." 
From the moment my sword tasted blood, I knew this would not be my way. I would win my father's praise, not by killing, but by being the first to find the Maharaja's treasure vault and the wonders within. Yeah, so ju just like the original uh, Prince of Persia from the had to have been the 80s, uh, the animations in this are just gorgeous. <laughs> Which again is something that they need to get right in the remake. Like, yeah, the... <laughs> The remake didn't look too great in the trailer, but they didn't show us a whole lot of the animations, so there's, there's still hope. <laughs> I don't particularly know what they want me to do here. I think I just want to get on this ledge. So, odd place to put that tutorial. I do also hope that uh, that some effort is put into improving the combat because I mean I mean to be quite honest the combat in this game is a lot better than the other games because the other games didn't really fix what was wrong with it Shall they I continue just my story from here the next time we're interrupted they just added complexity done i'll start the story from here next time no. ah and as i said improve the con the control weirdness my Cause I was I was pulling the trigger there. And 
There it lay, just out of reach. The Dagger of Time. There was a treasure I could carry with pride as a trophy of our victory. If I could only get there. Uh. Wait, wait, wait. That's not how it happened. But no, yeah, the, the later games had a, a larger focus on the combat, and like to that end, they added. Um, like combos and the like. And it's like. Ugh. I do not like fighting game combos. I, I don't want to memorize a arbitrary list of button presses. I mean, it ends up amounting to nothing in those games because the void spiky pulls. Okay. Um, because you just basically you learn the one really powerful combo and you just use that throughout the entire game. <laughs> but I I think I think there's a balance to be made between the combat in this game that well no on, honestly the uh combat in all of the Prince of Persia games. At, at least it, I do not remember the Forgotten Sands. That's that's the one I really want to replay. Um. Oh, I... Oops. No, no, no. But no, yeah, the, the combat definitely needs to be improved, because basically in, in this game, whenever it's... Whenever it's not mindless button mashing, it's just kind of... Uh, annoying. So there's there's gotta be a balance there. Also, just putting this out there, I don't know why Doom Eternal <laughs> brought back the the style of um, cutscene that this game uses. Because when I was playing Doom Eternal, all I could think of was those mid-game cutscenes where they just showed you What happened in the level? Time to get out now.
Oh man, I, I keep... I've been playing the Ocarina of Time for, for the first time lately and Father, I have brought us honor and glory. <coughs> Your Majesty, you promised me my choice of the Maharaja's treasures. That dagger! Surely you won't deny the lad a souvenir of his first battle. You may have your choice of all the Maharaja's other treasures. Except that hourglass. That will make a fine gift for the Sultan of Azad when we pass through his city. And some exotic animals for his menagerie. And a few dozen slave pearls. Yes, that should be enough. I want no animals or maidens harmed until I have chosen. Let it be known, King Sharaman is merciful in victory. Trust not a man who has betrayed his master, nor take him into your own service, lest he betray you too. I learned the truth of this to my sorrow, the day that we arrived in Azad as the Sultan's honored guests. My friend, my friend your visit brings joy and honor to my poor and humble dwelling. If only you had given me time to prepare a proper welcome. The glories of Azad are famed throughout the world. The best is yet to come. I give you the sands of time. May the friendship between our kingdoms endure as long as time itself. The sand, why does it glow? I can tell you. Inside the hourglass is a marvel that no living man has seen. Only the dagger can unlock the sands of time, and it belongs to a greater one than I. A young prince, dearer to his father than all the wealth of India. Perhaps he will oblige. No! That's right, I... Uh, okay. Yeah, I've, I've thought about this part. Each time I struck him down and rose to fight him, I soon realized that only by taking into my own dagger the sands that possess them. I'm living from their 
monstrous living death. Yeah, this fight could be tightened up a lot <laughs> in the remake. Done. I'll start the story from here next time. You think me mad. I can see it by the look in your eyes. You think my story is impossible. Perhaps I am mad. Who would not be driven mad by horrors such as I have lived? But I assure you, every word is true. Yeah, so... Wait! So we saw with that, uh... Kinda... Opening cinematic. I, I don't know what would be best to call it. Um... The guest rooms, where my father, all our entourage, and I should have passed the night lay cold and silent. The sands of time had swept through, stealing life and warmth from everything they touched. And I, who unleashed the cataclysm, had been spared. Were there others like me, who yet clung to life, hiding in fear among the ruins? It did not seem so. But yeah, we, we saw with that uh, pre-rendered cinematic that they used very deliberate lighting, um, which was a rather important part of the atmosphere. Um, that was the main thing I was upset to see missing from the recent trailer Stop! for the remake. I won't hurt like, the lighting was... Really, really... Had I really seen her? Or had my senses given way under the burden of horrors too great to bear and conjured up a phantom? Either way, I could not rest until I had found her again. You know, I forgot how good the writing was in this first one. I mean, after, after how bad the writing was in Warrior Within. <laughs> um, and how bad the game design in general was with Warrior Within. <laughs> but no, I do... I mean, they have s several months until, well, 
January. They have a few months. Um. These. Huh. Okay. Oh. So I should have retrieved that sand cloud is what I'm hearing. Oh well. I really hope they manage to <laughs> make the lighting less flat in the finished product. Because that, that was kind of disappointing. gained the power to stop time. Not for me, but for the enemy I struck. Ah. Ah, so now the dagger will... I was wondering why they weren't getting frozen when I accidentally struck them with the dagger. The timing isn't particularly intuitive. You really have to learn. Start the story from here next time. Whence came these visions that assaulted me thus like fever dreams? Each time I awoke feeling drained and beaten, and each time what I had seen came to pass, as if the sands of time were giving me a glimpse into my own future. I really wish I had retrieved that sand cloud in the first level. Um, Do you wish me to leave? I'm actually going to uh, go back. I think this should probably bring me back far, just far enough.
Yeah, I know that, uh... Can't skip this cutscene. You can skip the important ones, but <laughs> not the... Not the unimportant ones. <laughs> guest rooms, where my father, all our entourage, and I should have passed the night lay cold and silent. The sands of time had swept through, stealing life and warmth from everything they touched. And I, who unleashed the cataclysm, had been survived. Were there others like me, who yet clung to life, hiding in fear among the ruins? It did not seem so. Had I really seen her? Or had my senses given way under the burden of powers too great to bear and conjured up a phantom? Either way, I could not rest until I had found her again. Oops. In these games, when the camera is being weird, I just kind of go with accident it. In the Maharaja's treasure room, I now discovered that I could trigger at will. By pressing a switch on the dagger's handle, I could turn back time. I soon discovered that when I had collected enough sand, the dagger gained the power to stop time. Not for me, but for the enemy I struck. Okay, I hear one of those sand, uh, I forget what they called them. Can I not go back? Oh well. Guess 
guess I have to just live with missing one. Oh, unless it's down this hallway. Now, I can't remember... Done. I'll start the story from here next time. I can't remember... If this game does that annoying... Whence came these visions that assaulted me thus like fever dreams? Each time I awoke feeling drained and beaten. And each time, what I had seen came to pass. As if the sands of time were giving me a glimpse into my own future. <laughs> Okay. No, no, not not this. As yes. you wish. Um Oh, uh, what the heck was I saying? Oh yeah, I can't remember if this game has those annoying hidden super important things. Like, I know that, uh... Warrior Within and the Two Thrones had these insanely important, uh... side areas which would upgrade your health and uh, other various stats. Basically super not uh, option super not optional but uh, there's secrets they're hidden and I don't find that fun. And, uh, never have. Yep, this one has some. Just, I don't, I don't like. Hello? I don't remember this. Is anyone there? But no, I just, I don't like I mandatory I'm secrets. I'm not in a Zod anymore. <laughs> what? I'm just, I'm just highly amused at how imperceptible that increase was. Like, congratulations, you now have five more pixels on your health bar. <laughs> Is there... Ooh, that's... Some rough effects right there. Hello? Give me the dagger. Who are you? I am Farah, the daughter of the Maharaja from whom you stole it. This is your doing. I saw Oh, my father turned to sand. And we will share his fate if you do not give me the dagger to undo what you have done. Your traitorous vizier used the same words. From now on, I trust no one but myself. Run! Go back to the reception hall. Wait for me there. Go!
And there's some more of that absolutely dreadful audio leveling. <laughs> left India, she had been there. In the desert, I had felt her dark eyes upon me. Now, here she was again. She and I, the only two survivors. Did I say two? Excuse me. We were three. Yeah, so I've, uh, I first played the... PS2 version of this. And it had the same audio level issues. Uh, I haven't tried the GameCube or PC versions. And I also don't know what system these were, these games were meant for. Or, uh, not meant for, but, uh, primarily developed on. Because I would Whoa. like to, I would like to think that the system that these were primarily developed for would not be as glitchy in everything, but I know it's probably just as. <laughs> the hourglass. What? I did not understand the meaning of what I had just seen. But I knew, with a certainty I could not explain, that those winged creatures had a master. The man who had tricked me into opening the hourglass now had his prize. And for some unknown purpose, the dagger as well would stop at nothing to possess him. Well, I would give him what he sought. I would plunge it into his foul and treacherous heart. Good shadow there. Even though it's unrealistic, they should keep that in the remaster. Also, I don't know why the, uh, I think it's called Key Art for the remaster has him with this hook sword. It looks really stupid. <laughs> uh, so I, like, I, I just, I do not know what that's about. Um, I think he had a kind of hook-like sword in one of the sequels, but it wasn't as obnoxiously hooked. Like I say, I say hook sword. It, just because I, I'm having a hard time coming up with a better word for it. Also, I don't know why I'm scaling upwards when I saw sand spouts at ground level. I feel like maybe I should try and make my way down there.
Because, like, I, I didn't come from down there, did I? There's a fountain down there. But I seem to be making my way higher and higher. So, I mean, that that's another thing that... <laughs> that the remaster could do to improve is the readability of certain areas. I think I see now what's going on. Ah. Can I can I not run across this? Whoa. Accidentally engaged slow motion. Interesting. So the power I thought I unlocked isn't actually what I unlocked. I, oh, I see. I see, I see, said the... Said the blind man to the deaf man over the telephone as he stuck his peg leg out the window to see if it was raining. Oh. Cancelled the obnoxious sheathing animation. I mean, the the sheathing animation is fine. I I don't know why they feel it necessary to stop you in your tracks whenever it plays. Camera angles would be another very good thing to improve upon. just said something about the vizier wanting the dagger really badly. But again, the audio lighting is such garbage. Even platforming standpoint. 
Done. I'll start the story from here next time. <sighs> hmm, excuse me. Uh, well, I think now's as good a time as any to start. But Shall I go on? Shut up. <laughs> uh, I think I've been, uh, Streaming for long enough. It just occurred to me that my webcam's been crooked this whole time. Oh well. So. Yeah, anyway. This is me, Peter. Peter Gale. Signing off. Bye.